In this video, we're going to look at non-linear regression. So where we've got an exponential relationship between two variables, we can use logarithms to look at the relationship. So here we've got a question, two variables x and y are related by the formula y equals a b to the power of x. So y equals a times b to the power of x where a and b are constants, show that the relationship can be written in the form log y equals log a plus x log b. So what we do, so we start with y equals a b to the power of x, and we're just going to log both sides. So where we just write log, that means log base 10. So log y equals log a b to the power of x and from now the rules of logarithms if you've got two things multiplied together you can separate them out and put a plus in between them so log a plus log b to the power of x and where you've got a power so log b to the power of x, the x can jump down to the front. So that's the same as x. So log b to the power of x is the same as x times log b. So then this could be used to model a straight line relationship. So log a and log b are going to be constants. So if we plotted log y against x, we would have a straight line relationship with a gradient of log b and an intercept of log a. So we've converted an exponential relationship into a straight line relationship that we could use to examine the correlation, examine the relationship between the two variables. Okay, here's a question. So two variables s and t are recorded the data is coded so the coding has been used to change a exponential relationship into a linear relationship and we've got a regression line on the coding to be found as y equals 2.68 minus 0.141x so given that the data can be modeled by t equals a b to the power of s, where a and b are constants, find a and b to three significant figures. So we're going to undo the coding here. We're going to change y into log 10t. So log base 10t equals 2.68 minus 0 0.141 and x is s. So we're going to get this in the form t equals. So to get rid of the log form, 10 is the base. The right side of the equation is the power, and that equals t. So t equals 10 to the power of 2.68 minus 0.141s. And then we're going to split this up. So it's 10 to the power of 2.68 times 10 to the power of minus 0.141s. And we can even write 10 to the power of 2.68 times 10 to the power of minus 0.141 put that in a bracket and put s on the outside so a is 10 to the power of 2.68 we're going to have to use the calculator now so a 10 to the power of 2.68 b is 10 to the power of minus 0 0.141 so we use the calculator and work out these to three significant figures 
So 10 to the power of 2.68 to start with. So that's 479 to three significant figures. And B is 10 to the power of minus 0 0.141, which is 0 0.723. Okay, another question. So if you want to pause the video, try this one, you can. Otherwise, just keep watching. So two variables M and N this time. And again, it's been coded to make it into a linear model. And we're going to change it back into an exponential model. So we're going to change Y into log 10 N. Equals 1.71 plus 0 0.153 m this time. So we're going to get rid of the log form. So 10 is the base, the whole right side is the power, and it equals n. So n is 10 to the power of 1.71 plus 0 0.153 m. Okay, we're going to split this up into two power, two things to the power of 10. So 10 to the power of 1.71 times 10 to the power, because when you multiply indices, you add the powers. So 1.53m. And again, we'll write that as 10 to the power of 1.71 times 10 to the power of 0 0.153 in a bracket to the power of m. So a is 10 to the power of 1.71 and b is 10 to the power of 0 0.153. So we'll pick up the calculator. So 10 to the power of 1.71 first. So that's 51.3. and 10 to the power of 0 0.153 and that's 